Hey everyone, welcome to ITVK. In this quick video, I'll show you how to install Windows 11 on any unsupported PC, even if it doesn't meet the TPM, Secure Boot, or a RAM requirement. We will first check our current system and then download the Windows 11 from Microsoft and then create a bootable media and install Windows 11 step by step on that specific system which doesn't meet the requirement. So before proceeding, make sure you have like and subscribe ITPK and let's get started. Here is my Windows 10 computer. First, let's go ahead and download the PC Health Check app so that I can show you that this PC doesn't exactly meet the requirement to upgrade to Windows 11. Let's see which requirements are missing. In your browser, type download PC Health Check app. Here I will go to how to use PC Health Check app URL. If I scroll a little down, this is the URL to download PC Health Check app. You can get this URL directly from this video description. Once it's downloaded, click on open file. Accept the license and agreement and install it. This will take few seconds. Yeah, I wanna open Windows PC Health Check app. Click finish. Okay, now here, let's go ahead and click on check now. And you can see that my this PC doesn't meet the TPM 2.0 requirement and also the four gigs of RAM to upgrade to Windows 11. So that's fine. Let's go back. Now in the next step, let's go ahead and I will show you to download Windows 11 official ISO from Microsoft website. Just go to this first link if you are on a Google. If you have any problem, I have mentioned these links clearly in the video description. So don't worry about that. Scroll down. Here we have an option download Windows 11 disk image ISO. Just go ahead, select Windows 11 Multi Edition, click Confirm. Now here, just go ahead and choose your required language. Then again, click Confirm. And in this step, just go ahead and download 64-bit of Windows 11 into your computer. Let's go ahead and save this file. Now, once this ISO file downloaded completely into your computer, the next step you have to do is open up a new tab and download Rofos. Please note that Rofos is a safe and widely used software to make your USB bootable with Windows 11 ISO. So scroll down and here just go ahead and download the latest version of Rofos into your computer. Okay, now let me save it. I already have it, but that's fine. Now I want to go ahead and run this Rofos software in my computer. Okay. This is my USB. Let me disconnect it and reconnect it to show you that if you connect your USB, Rofus software will automatically detect it here. Okay, so here I got my 16 gigs of USB. It's also showing in my computer. The next step is select the Windows 11 latest ISO file that I have downloaded from Windows 11 official website. Let's select it, click on open. Perfect. I don't want to change anything else. If you want, you could go ahead, change your USB label from here. Let's say I want to set it to Windows 11 ISO Customize because we will customize our Windows 11 here. Now, when I click on start, uh, I got different options here. The first option is remove the requirement for 4 gigs of RAM and secure boot TPM. Selecting this option will bypass this requirement and we could proceed with Windows 11 installation on our unsupported computer. The next option here is remove requirement for an online Microsoft account. That is fine. If you want to check this option, just go ahead and select this. The next option here we have is create a local account with the username. Let's go ahead and set it to ITPK. That is fine. Now I have also selected disable BitLocker automatic drive encryption and disable data collection that skips privacy questions. So it's up to you which option you want to select. I'm ready. Let's click OK. Here 
it's giving us a warning that all data on device 16 gigs will be destroyed to continue with this operation click ok so make sure your usb doesn't have any important files click on ok and this will start making my usb drive bootable with my required option and once we got this usb bootable with windows 11 we will be able to proceed with the installation over the non-supported computer okay now my installation media or the usb is 100 percent ready to install the windows 11 on an unsupported device now close this ruffles now let's begin with the installation process as you can see on the screen everything is working perfectly according to our customized selected option even though this system didn't meet the official windows 11 requirements we are just going to wait for the setup to complete and once it's done i will show you the verification results at the end all right the installation is complete now and let's go ahead and again quickly download and install the pc health check app to confirm again now you can see it clearly that this pc doesn't meet the requirements for windows 11 but it's running smoothly and fully functional so that's how easily you can install windows 11 on an unsupported pc or a laptop without tpm secure boot or other restrictions if you found this video helpful make sure to give it a like and subscribe to itpk for more quick it tutorial thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video